I'm Roger and actually not in the shop today out here by the greenhouses uh, March 1st in northern Illinois and it's in the 60s so very unusual so I took the opportunity to uh, build another outdoor bench for our perennials uh, you can see I'm sitting on it here uh, it's a little 4 foot by 16 foot perennial bench hopefully the wind won't uh, play too much havoc with the sound on here uh, you can probably see behind me here that's uh, our existing perennial benches in front of one of our greenhouses and yes that's electric fence run because we have deer and not just one or two but we have herds of deer but what I wanted to talk about here was what I'm going to call bench horses uh, Next Level Carpentry has a very very good instructional video on how to do it and I'll put that link down below in the description I'm not going to go into how to build these horses but uh, the, it's an I-beam style. They've been around for years and years. It's nothing new. And I thought I would uh, bring this up because maybe you don't just need saw horses, but maybe you need a outdoor bench or a temporary bench. Uh, you can build a couple of these horses and uh, throw a sheet of plywood across it. Have yourself a workbench and it's easy to knock down and take down. Something else I'll bring up too. Uh, I'm on an incline here, so the legs on this first one are 24 inches, the legs on the second horse are 32 inches, the legs on the last horse are 36 inches. That's so I could get a level bench because of the incline of the ground. If you are going to build a set of these, and you know how tall you want them to be, uh, because of the way the legs splay out, if you want a horse that is 24 inches to the top, you cut your legs 24 inches. You want it to be 36 inches, cut your legs 36 inches. Uh, one of them little quirk things I found out as I've been building these over the years, uh, it's a good way to calculate the uh, final height. Uh, there's a lot of shortcut ways to do this. Uh, some people don't cut the bevels on the legs, I do. On uh, my sawhorses I use in the shop, I actually uh, chamfered down in where the legs pass through the bottom part of the I-beam on these uh, utility horses out here for these benches I don't do that so when you look at uh, Next Level Carpentry's video on how to do it he goes into great detail on it and uh, he, he is quite the master carpenter so hope you got a little something out of this and uh, just a little quick video on an idea maybe you're building some horses for a temporary bench or maybe a potting bench or something you need out in your yard or just in the workshop so if you like this, I uh, would appreciate giving it a thumbs up. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy a little bit of an adult beverage now that I'm done with this. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.